Hola, bienvenidos a Hola Amigos, Hello Friends. Yo soy Claudia. Y yo soy María Olvera. Y yo soy Pombo. Stay with us. We're going to have lots of fun today. Hola Amigos, Hello Friends is a production of the Knowledge Network of Greater Omaha, produced by students in the TV studios of Metropolitan Community College. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much. Hmm, muy bien. Well, I know you guys at home are ready to learn, but you guys are wondering, what are we learning about today? ¿Qué vamos a aprender hoy, Pom Pom? ¿Qué hey. vamos a aprender, María? Well, you guys know what to do. We look at the board, Pom Pom. Remember that? and sweets, Pom Pom, is going to be good for your teeth. No. 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 Oh. Well, let's look at, let's, let's think for a minute. Um, have you guys heard of a toothbrush? Oh, see. Sí. Yes, I know the toothbrush very well. Un cepillo de dientes. Look at this, Pom Pom. ¿Es tu cepillo para el pelo? No. No, we certainly don't use this brush for your hair. We use this brush for our teeth. <gasps> Los dientes. That's right. And have you guys heard of toothpaste? <gasps> sí. I'm sure you have. So that's what we're going to need. We're going to need a toothbrush and we're going to need toothpaste. We're going to need some water and we're going to need floss to be nice to our teeth. Estas son muchas cosas, Maria. That's right, Pompon. So I brought some pictures with me today. Look, what does that say? Oh, goodness, Pompon, do you, do you, you know see? what this all this says? Si, se dice brush at least two times a day. <gasps> but you know, sometimes you might be tired and mm. you may not want to brush anymore. Or sometimes you might say, oh, you know, I'm going to skip it today. Boom, boom, have you ever skipped not brushing your teeth? <gasps> no. No. No, 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 Maria. Well, I know some of our friends at home have skipped a day from brushing their teeth. Oh, eso no es bien. That wouldn't be the right thing to do, Pompon, that's for sure. But brushing our teeth would be one way that we can be nice to our teeth, that we can be good to our teeth. Sí, be good to your teeth. But there are other ways. Let's think about some of those other ways, Pompon. Hmm. Mm. You know, we're trying to keep our teeth healthy so it, so our teeth can be there for many, many years and we can continue to use our teeth. See? Sí. Yeah. So if we brush them, what else do you think we can do to be good to our teeth? Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> yeah. Yo sé, yo sé. Necesitamos comer buena. You're right, Pom Pom. Yeah. We should eat good food for us. So we need to eat nutritious foods. See, see right see, here? See, see. 
And if you can tell some of that nutrition food would be like milk. Leche. Be sure it's white milk and not chocolate milk. Ooh. And apples. Una manzana. Mm. So, Pompon, si. I'm going to ask you something. Uh oh. Are you ready for this question? Mm, quizás. Maybe our friends at home can also answer this question. Si, si. Por favor, yeah. ayúdame. When you're about to eat something, do you think, do you pause for a moment and think, would this be good for my teeth or would it be bad for my teeth? Oh. Esa es una pregunta muy buena. That is a very good question, Pom Pom. Are you going to answer it? No. No? <laughs> no. Well, I know some of our friends at home said that they really don't think about it. They just think about whether they want to eat it or not, but they don't think whether it's good for their teeth or not. Esa es la verdad. Yes. That is the truth. Mm -hmm. But you know, we do not need to make conscious decisions about what we're going to eat and think about, well, would this be good for my teeth or would it not be good for my teeth? So that's another way to be good to your teeth. Just think about what you're about to eat. Si necesitas pensar en lo que va a comer. That's true. And then we have, remember, I told you that you will also need floss. So we need to floss at least once a day. Oh. Yes. And you know what, Pompon? There is a good way to floss and in in not a so good way to floss. And the same goes for brushing your teeth. But later in the show, Pompon, we're going to have someone who's going to teach us how to do that. <gasps> oh. No! Tenemos una persona. Sí, tenemos un invitado, Pompon. Oh! I know, I'm excited too. So let's look at this. This is another way that we can be good to our teeth. We can visit the dentist every six months. Cada seis meses. Yes, Pompon, have you gone to the dentist this year yet? Oh, si, sí, si, sí, si. Sí. Es muy divertido. Yes, so if you guys haven't been to the dentist in a very, very, very long time, you should ask your mom if it's time for you to go to the dentist because you know they can do uh, cleaning of your teeth, Pompon? Si. Yes, and that would be healthy for your teeth because why would you want your teeth to be healthy, Pompon? Hmm. Uh, porque yo me gusta sonreír. Well, you want to have a nice smile. That is important. But remember, you also want your teeth to last you a very, very long time. So you can oh, always si. chew your food. Si, si, si. Yes. And you know, when you're in sports and everything else, accidents can happen. So another way to be good to your teeth is to always wear a mouth guard. Oh. Tienes que proteger tus dientes. Tienes que proteger tus dientes cuando estás jugando deportes. That's a very good idea, Mary. You should always wear a mouth guard to protect your teeth when you're playing sports. Yeah. So let's review and find out how can we be good to our teeth. Podemos cepillarnos los dientes sí. dos veces al día. Podemos comer no comida nutritiva como leche, que no sea leche de chocolate o manzanas. Podemos usar el hilo dental diariamente, correctamente, y podemos visitar al el dentista por lo menos una vez cada seis meses, pero también si jugamos deportes, pompón. Tenemos que protegernos la boca. Sí. Mm -hmm. Y usar un protector bucal. Excelente, Pompón. So I know that you're going to have a brushing your teeth party at your house, aren't you? Sí, sí. Una fiesta para sellar nuestros dientes. I know, because you told me last week that you were going to have this at your home with your friends. And you guys going to have a lot of parents teaching you how to brush your teeth properly. Sí, 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 María. Sí, sí, sí. Tengo que ir ahorita. Well, Pompon, you have fun at that party. And remember, now you know what's, why it's so important to take care of your teeth. And you're going to have lots of fun, Pompon, right? Si, si, yes. si. Yes. Well, you have fun, and I'll see you next time, okay? Okay, ciao, Maria. All right, ciao.
while Pong Pong goes home and finds out all about that brushing your teeth party, let's find out what is the letter of the day today. Hmm, if we've been talking about teeth, what do you think is the letter of the day today? Oh, Maria, that's a good question. Una pregunta buena. The letter for today for dientes or teeth would be the letter T. Eso es exactamente correcto. La letra T es la letra del día. Y ahora vamos a pensar en palabras que comienzan con la letra T. Perfecto. Hmm. Let's think about words that begin with the letter T. Let's see. Oh, I have one. Dime. Yeah. What about this when it's going through? It's making a great big noise and it's like choo-choo. Oh, ese es un tren yeah. que hace el ruido. Choo, choo. That's a train that, that makes right. that sound. Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? Our friend said that this great big animal that does these roaring noises, and it's usually at the jungle. A jungle, a big animal mm -hmm. that makes a loud roar and begins with a T. Niños, that's a yep, tiger. Un tigre. Very good. Can you think of a word? Hmm. hmm. Well, actually, Maria, I can think of an English word mm -hmm. that begins with the letter T, and that would be toy. Pero en español, ¿cómo se dice toy? Oh, juguete. Muy bien. Y juguete tiene la letra T. And juguete mm -hmm. has the letter T in it. No al principio, pero al final, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A ver, uh -huh. creo que I think there's another word in English that begins with the letter T, and that would be top. Oh, ya, yeah, es un trompo. Le das vueltas, muchas vueltas. That's y es súper divertido. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Es un juguete. Mm -hmm. There you go. Es un juguete. Yo estoy pensando en una fruta que realmente pensamos que es un vegetal, pero es más bien una fruta porque tiene semillas. A fruit that begins with the letter T. A lot of the time we think of it as a vegetable, and it's also looked as a vegetable, but really it's a fruit because he has the seeds inside. Is this palabra, esta palabra, is your fruit vegetable rojo? Is it red? Oh, yeah. Pues yo sé, es un tomate. That's right, a tomato. And you know what? When you're going to sit down and eat, you probably need a... Oh, you need a mesa, which in English, children, begins with a T. What do you need to eat your food on? A table. Good. Hey, with all those words, I think we're ready to write the letter T, to trace the letter T. Okay, let's go ahead and start learning the letter T. Yeah, let's do it together. So we're going to start with uppercase letter T. Uppercase letter T. So you need a straight line, and it would be a vertical line, and then a horizontal line on top. Very good. In our lowercase letter T, you need a smaller but also vertical line with your horizontal line not all the way on top, but a little lower. That's a good point, Maria. Acá, muy alta. Y este, media baja. Mm -hmm. Un poquito más abajo. Hey, we're ready to come up with a sentence? Ooh. Ooh. We've been learning about this brushing our teeth, and we've learned that our teeth need to be brushed every day. Every day. Should we write that sentence in hey, English? That's a sentence right there. Let's write that. So we said our teeth need to be brushed every day. All right. Our teeth need to be brushed every day. There you go. We'll do that in Spanish. Okay. Es necesario. It's necessary. Lavarnos. It's necessary to wash. 
or brush los dientes. It's necessary to brush your teeth a diario. Daily. It's They're necessary to brush your teeth every single day, Maria. That's right. We just learned that. And you know what? I went to the store the other day and I brought some pictures of what I bought. And today we have these two tooths right here. And one is a very sad tooth. Hmm. And one is a very happy one. Because some of the stuff that I got at the store isn't that good for my teeth. Oh, Maria, oh, pero I por favor. Mujer. Well, we're gonna help me categorize which ones of these items should I eat and which ones should I not eat maybe because it would be bad for my teeth. Okay, so we're gonna put the food that you should eat on the happy tooth, mm -hmm. el diente feliz, y la comida que no es buen on the sad to the triste, el diente triste. Exactamente. Okay. La comida que no es muy buena. Primero, tenemos el brócoli. Uh, brócoli, mm. pero ese es muy bien para la salud de los dientes. Yo creo que es muy bueno. Vamos a ponerlo en el diente feliz. Broccoli Ooh. is very good for your teeth. So a you ver. would want to eat that if you want to take care of your teeth. Be nice, be good to your teeth. Oh. Me gusta mucho. Sí, los pastelitos son deliciosos. Mi estómago, I, my belly really likes it, pero mis dientes. Mm. And think about it. We said earlier that maybe we should consciously think about would this be good for my teeth before we eat it? So, so much sugar. That wouldn't be Ooh, so good. Azúcar. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be healthy. So let's look at this one here. Oh, these are wonderful zanahorias. These are carrots. These definitely have to go on the happy tooth. Yeah, I think those are very healthy. What about what about this one here? Ooh, una torta deliciosa. A very delicious looking cake. Mm -hmm. I know, again, it makes my belly happy. But do you think it's healthy for your teeth? No. I don't think so. No, no, no. That would make our teeth really sad. Very sad. Muy triste. So, let's continue to find out what else we have in here. What about that one? Oh, otra vez, algo que mi estómago le gusta, something that my stomach really likes. Pero no mis dientes, but not my teeth. That one is really bad for your teeth. And Maria, you bought a lot of bad things for your teeth. I know. We well, gotta find some good things for I'm your gonna teeth. I'm going to make sure I don't eat any of this. Oh, you want to make sure you eat plenty of this. These are manzanas. Mm -hmm. These are my apples. Estas son muy buenas. These are super good for your teeth. Y tenemos el chocolate. Oh, el chocolate es oh, delicioso. delicioso, pero no por los dientes. No, no es bueno para sus dientes y entonces harán sus dientes muy tristes. Yes, it will make your teeth very, yeah. very sad. And what about this one? I like this one oh, a the lot. Oh, the candies me encanta. I love them. But los dientes no. And you know what, Maria? These are very dangerous because they can break your teeth. Ooh, mm -hmm. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Wow. Well, what about that one? Oh, esta yo tomo cada día. I always drink my milk, la leche. Mm-hmm. And that has to be white milk, so it's not bad for your teeth. So we're going to put that in the happy tooth because it's really healthy for you if it's white. So let's look at this one here. El tomate. This is your tricky question. Is it a vegetable? Is it a fruit? But you know what, Maria? It doesn't matter. No importa. Porque es buen salud para los dientes. Sí, muy, muy saludable los jitomates. Muy saludables. And I think I have one. No, I have more than one. Oh, my. I know. I bought a lot of things. You did go on a shopping spree. Look, Look at, at that. You. Oh, el queso. Ay, qué riquísimo. 
Mamá, me encanta. I love mm -hmm. the cheese. And cheese is, is fine. You can eat it and it's not terribly bad for your teeth at all. No. Not like soda. Mm -mm. And I have bananas. I can see those. Look at that. Those are beautiful. Yeah. And I know these ones are really good. So you can have those and make your teeth happy. And I have one more, you guys. Oh, and Maria, you went a big shopping spree. I Look know. At things. Mira lo que Maria compró. Look at these eggs. Are they good for your teeth or not? Chicos, niños, ¿qué piensan? ¿Sí o no? Oh, look at everybody. Some seas. Sí, yes. Muy buena. Eggs are fine for your teeth. So we're going to put them in the happy, in the happy tooth. So with this, I want you guys to take a close look at it and determine if you find yourself eating things from the sad tooth. Mm. Mm. So, Maria, ¿qué pasa si yo estoy comiendo estas cosas? What's, what should I do if I'm eating these so, things? So, you know, I heard that they actually put one of a human tooth inside soda and in matter of days, it turned black. No. Not, not like months or years years. They put it inside the soda and in a matter of days. Pero por qué? Why? Well, I think it has to do with the sugar. Oh, and you and know what, maybe Maria? the other stuff in it. I hear our guest is an experto mm -hmm. de oh, azúcar. Yeah. He's an expert on sugar and what it does to your teeth. Yes. So if you guys find yourself eating from this one, you should consider what you're eating and either eliminate it from your diet or lower it significantly but if you find yourself eating from this one here you're doing really well for your teeth because this this uh, nutritious food on this side will do fine for your teeth but you know what we have an expert with us today and he's gonna tell us all about brushing our teeth Come and in. what's good and what's bad so let's welcome him in his name is dr. Brett Thompson thank you for being with us thank doctor. You very much for dr. Thompson me. hola very nice bienvenidos a hola amigos yes. welcome to hola amigos so we're gonna have a seat and we're gonna learn all about brushing our teeth because we've been talking a lot about it and I just want you to tell us what we did wrong actually I've been listening and you did a very good job all of your explanations so very good job okay you're very right that if you are brushing your teeth that you'd like to be able to brush them at least twice a day is the best if you can do one more that's even better but at least twice a day is a very good way to be able to brush your teeth when you're brushing your teeth we have some very large teeth here to be able to work with but you would like to be able to put the bristles right up into the gum line and do little circles back and forth entonces señor er, perdón Doctor, los niños necesitan hacer los círculos. See the circles? Yes. Y no back and forth, no back and forth, no los back círculos. And forth, the little circles that go right up into oh. the gum line. Oh. And make sure that you're doing all of the top teeth on the outside. Mm -hmm. And when you're done with the outside, then you can work to the inside. And oh, brush adentro. All of, the teeth, all of the teeth on the inside. Mm -hmm. And same circles again. And once you're done with the top, then you want to work right down to the bottom. Again, the bristles into the gum line in circles and do all of the outsides of the teeth. And then once you're done with the outside, go to the inside. Wow. So oftentimes, a veces nosotros pensamos que tenemos que hacerle así y así y así y ya terminamos. No. Debe de ser en una forma circular y que lleguen a la parte de arriba del diente. Una parte singular constantemente por arriba y por abajo y por adentro. So it's on the upper, the lower, and inside. Y doctor, yo tengo una pregunta. I have a question. Yes. Y la fuerza, la manera, the strength. Do I have to use a lot of arm strength, un montón de fuerza de mi brazo para limpiar mis dientes? You don't have to do it too hard. Mm -hmm. okay. just, just enough to be able to clean the teeth so we don't want to hurt the teeth or hurt the gums. So just doing it softly up against the tooth and into the gum line is best. Suavemente. There. So what and do you, sure, excuse yep, me, sorry. And making sure that you have enough time to do it. Sometimes it's kind of oh. fun to be able to play a song. <gasps> me encanta. Oh, yeah. 
We could probably sing despacito because you would brush your teeth slowly and softly. Yes. So that would be a very good way to be able to brush your teeth and make sure that you're brushing them long enough. So how long do you think we should be brushing our teeth? Because sometimes, you know, I go really fast and then I'm out of the house because, you know, I'm running late. You want to brush your teeth at least two to three minutes every time. So once Ooh. in the morning and once before bedtime as well. Um, doctor, otra pregunta. Two to three minutes, dos a tres minutos. That's a long time. Eso es un tiempo largo. Could I combine two activities? Puedo hacerme la ducha. Can I take a shower? Y lavar, cepillar mis dientes and brush my teeth in there? No, you like to spend <gasps> just only brushing your teeth. I didn't to see make that sure one coming. <laughs> <laughs> just brushing your teeth and concentrating on that so that you know you do a very good job. <laughs> you have to yeah, practice so mindfulness. Early. Tengo que levantarme exactly. más temprano. Okay. Two minutes early to save your teeth is always a good, good policy. Now, what about flossing? Oh, Flossing in between the teeth. In fact, could I borrow your yeah. floss? Yeah. Yeah, I'll of get it. Me, doctor. Muy bien. This is so exciting for you to be here with us. Thank you. I'll let you hold the teeth. So flossing is a way to be able to clean between your teeth where the brush does not clean. Does it hurt? It does not hurt. Dolor. You no. don't want to hurt the teeth. In fact, as you open, you want to be able to just slide gently between the teeth and wipe on one side of the tooth and then the other side of the tooth oh. and then back out. And you want to do it gently enough that it cleans it, but it does not hurt the gums. Cada diente tengo que hacerme eso. Each separate tooth, I have to do this, doctor? Yes, you do. Oy. Pero es importante porque it's important so that you can have una sonrisa bonísima. Yes. So all of the teeth are very important, so you want to be able to floss all of them. Okay. So what do you suggest? Do you think we should set aside maybe like 20 minutes to brush our teeth and floss our teeth when we're getting ready, or what do you think? I don't think that you need 20 minutes. I think that maybe two to three minutes to be able to brush your teeth and about one to two minutes to be able to floss your teeth is all you need. And flossing, you only have to do one time a day. Oh, and it, thank goodness. Is there a trick to how you hang on to that so you can be very efficient? Oh, Maria, que pregunta. Bueno, that is an excellent question. Because I always go like this, and then I feel like it's very loose, and I yeah, get and this how courage. Long have, you put like a lot is that so a width there's, there's you may not need quite this long but it will still work and you want to wrap it on your middle fingers oh. on each hand and so it lets you use all of these fingers to do all the work oh you can now use two thumbs or two fingers to be able to clean between the teeth and just a tiny piece to go in between you have like circle so late with your fingers going on so if you have too big a piece sometimes you can hurt the gums and we oh. do not want to hurt the gums okay. if you have what too big of a piece oh you use just a tiny piece to go right between the teeth just like this Okay. Oh, and when you go, do you just go in and now, or do you, should you go around? I think you mentioned something earlier, but I forgot. That's all right. You should actually wrap in between the teeth and go around the tooth on one side and around the tooth on the other side. So you're cleaning both sides of the tooth. I bet you it takes a lot of practice, un montón de práctica, but once you get it, muy rápido. It'll be very quick and fast. Practice makes perfect. And Indeed. what do you think? Should everybody be doing this? Like, how old should they start? Everyone, as soon as you have a tooth in your mouth, you should be brushing your teeth. And if you're very young, it's very fun to let you brush your teeth. And as mom and dad always has a uh, chance to be able to help you out, that's always great to have them. Doctor, we have just a few seconds left. At what age should a child begin to visit their dentist? ¿A cuál edad? ¿Qué edad? Los niños necesitan ir al dentista. Usually when the first tooth comes in, by the age of 1 to 18 months, they should come in to see the dentist. Wow. Okay, 1 so to 18 months. Everybody needs to go to the dentist and be brushing their teeth every day. But we like to thank you for being with us today and telling us all about brushing our teeth. And we have to say goodbye. So we're going to sing our goodbye song together. Adios, amigos. Goodbye, friends. We had fun. We hope to see you again. Hola Amigos, Hello Friends is a production of the Knowledge Network of Greater Omaha, produced by students in the TV studios of Metropolitan Community College.